Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Once again, we are in the car chomping gum. I do have some videos that I'm working on. I just got my laptop back, but I've been a lazy POS. Yesterday I had no energy to do anything at all. I had a really bad sleep the night before. And today I have, it's like 10.30, quarter to 11. At 12 I have a 25 minute exercise class. And then one, I have my very first chiropractor appointment and they do a whole back scan and no x-rays or anything like that, can't do x-rays. But they do a scan where it sees like where your muscles are stretched out or they're they're compensating for something out and your spinal alignment that's what i'm really excited for but then like i got a 200 dollars gift card this is kind of bogus i got a 200 dollars gift card and they're like yeah would you like to pay an extra 55 dollars for the alignment i'm like what do you mean and they're like well the actual like fixing the physio part or the hands-on part is an extra $55 and it's like you're telling me for a consultation and for a bone alignment you charge $255 that's bogus that is a f scam that is rubbish if you ask me that is cheating the healthcare system when I did my acupuncture appointment I only have had one but when I done that it was hundred dollars for it was a free consultation this is just like a little stick for uh, flowers like when you get flowers and it has a card but I kind of chewed it but anyways free consultation a hundred dollars for the second consultation anything else anything added and then the actual work to be done and then twenty dollars for these herb pills that was supposed to help it's like like a bunch of Chinese herbs that was mixed in and I I messed up taking them so I stopped taking them because like you're supposed to take four two two uh, take two pills two times daily so four times a day but I was taking two only two because four seemed like a lot and they were really dry and yeah the neighbors looking at me like homegirl why are you talking to yourself and I'm like ah so I you know what I appreciate the healthcare system and what it does and like all these kinds of medical treatments and stuff we can have even though like something like acupuncture it's not covered I don't think and stuff like sorry I'm just trying to defog the back and rinse it a little bit but I don't think chiropractor I don't think that's covered and then what else? Acupuncture I don't think is covered. Acupressure I don't think is covered. Uh, what else is kind of massage therapy? That's right. That I don't think is covered either. I think maybe like little bits and pieces like a couple bucks here and there is covered. But it's not the same. Like I've worked at a lot of places where I guess it's a lot cheaper to get a prescription than it is to get actual physical treatment but that's how things heal is you know like you think of something like Reiki where it's moving stagnant energy and just hovering over an area people who are Reiki masters can hover over an area and just move stagnant energy and not actually physically touch a person I think things like that is so cool and fascinating maybe one day perhaps um yeah Ooh. You know what's something that's really cool that I was researching this morning? I had a friend from my, uh, uh, <laughs> I had a phone call from my friend Paul and he was like talking to me about, he was looking up uh, photos of the Venus de Milo, which is, it's a statue that is in the Louvre out in France and it's the armless woman who is said to be Aphrodite, the Greek god, Roman, Roman goddess of love? No, no, she's the Greek goddess of love. Who's Aphrodite? No, the birth of Venus is the Roman, and then the Venus, I think, yeah, is the Roman, and then the Aph Aphrodite, she is the Greek goddess of love. 
and with Aphrodite she I think she's also like fertility and just like love mistress mistresses but I got onto this little like tangent of looking up gods and goddesses and I started reading about like this is like way back in the day like BC time right a hunt like they said that uh, to date they believe that the Venus de Milo is a hundred BC so like it's a fucking long time ago that's over 2,000 years ago right and isn't it amazing though how things like that don't deteriorate they, they stand the test of time it's honestly so beautiful but um, a lot of Roman culture when they became when they uh, were introduced to the Greeks they were so enthralled they were so fascinated with their philosophies with their religions with uh, how they they looked at the universe that they really started to adopt the Greek style of how they do things and same with religion they they it Greek really influenced the Romans and I think the Romans to this day were the longest standing empire so you know it's kind of cool that they were able to adapt in such a way and things like their their gods and goddesses like we think of a lot of Greek you know it's usually Greek uh, gods that we talk about because uh, we have things like Hercules the movie Hercules and there's Hades whose brother is Zeus and Philoises I think Philoises is his name Zeus is more peaceful Zeus is the god of of the wind of calm clouds and he really he he settles things out he is also known to be the god of thunder but I didn't I I wrote a little bit down but it's like to me that's Thor Thor is the god of thunder but anyways and then Philoises he is the opposite he is said to be the god of of disturbance of turbulence of creating storms and natural disasters he is the creator of that and I think it's so fascinating looking at Greek gods how there's a god for everything and there was also this god of it was a uh, like god of Saturn and he comes from uh, Uranus his parents are Uranus which is the sky and um, Gaia, Gaia not Gaia like mother Gaia you've heard of that but instead of an I it's an E so it's still similar but it means the earth essentially so mother Gaia what we know is mother Gaia the earth comes from Greek philosophy and uh, Saturn he was this evil person or an evil god where he was the 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 Lord of all the Lord of all because he comes from the sky and the sun or the sky and the earth and he also he was the god who would devour his own children so we're talking about BC before Christ came and it kind of makes sense when you talk about uh, Jesus being the Savior, being sent by God sending his only begotten son, his only blood son, to be able to come down and save ourselves. Because if we come from a God who <laughs> devours his children, or there's other gods who would punish their people in a way, our, like the God that I follow, the God great orderly divine we all have different gods or different beliefs but God the father of Jesus if you think of it like that like it's kind of cool how that works um yeah I really thought that was interesting I'm still processing it and trying to figure it out but also I thought it was very fascinating it all started because I asked uh, my mother-in-law hey like what does Venus mean I know it's it's uh 
like you think it started with the Venus de Milo, but then there's also the birth of Venus. And it's like, what does Venus mean? And she's like, well, you know, there's that, that razor commercial, like, I'm your Venus, I'm your boy. She's like, it's some kind of goddess, like goddess of love. And, and so I started looking and searching up and then I found out that, that uh, Romans, they were very influenced by the Greek and it was just so fascinating to read about. So yeah, there's a little bit of Greek and <laughs> Greek and Roman God philosophy for you. Uh, yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out and it's cool to imagining how things way back 2000 plus years ago, how they influence things today, whether you believe it or not. Like, I think it's so cool how they're like, there's gods for everything. I think it's amazing. Whereas like the God that I follow, he is the creator of all, but I still kind of believe in evolution. I think that's kind of, I, I took too much anthropology to not believe in evolution. I don't believe that like, whatever the fossil record, it just, it, Look at the fossil record. There's no way that there can be 24 fucking skulls that go from being an, an orangutan, a monkey, to a human. Like, there's... Uh, and then the size difference, how the brain grows. Fascinating shit, if you ask me. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Enjoyed this little video. And I will talk to you soon. Bye! <laughs>